What is up you guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Today I'm sort of excited to give you guys this video but I'm sort of pissed about it because I actually shot this video two days ago and the way that I shot it I actually walked through and showed you guys how to do everything like you know firsthand how to do it but after I did it I kind of failed so you know I had a, a fail video but I didn't fail on video it was after the video was over and I went to go park my car everything went wrong so yeah and it was super cool because I had my little brother Jerry filming for me the angles and the shots it was so nice but i'll get into that later but right now if you guys didn't read the title this is the video where i show you guys how to get your horn hooked up on your quick release steering wheel i've been getting a lot of people asking me how to do it am i going to make a video on how to do it and all that stuff so here you guys go oh it's hot Okay, so the reason why that I'm really upset about this is because that I never liked those YouTube videos where the person already did everything off of the camera. And then when they shoot the video, all they do is they show you, you know, I did this, that, this, that, and then that's it. That's all they show you. Me personally, I like actually watching everything done because there's certain techniques that you gotta apply when you're, you know, doing stuff to your car. And I think it's much easier when you see it actually being done than somebody just telling you, do this, do that, do this. But since I already basically wired up everything from the other day, and then all I had to do was to make one little adjustment to make the horn actually work, there really wasn't any point of me, you know, just undoing everything just so I can make a second video. So that's why right now, I'm just gonna show you guys what I did, all right? All right, so for this first step is you gotta take off your steering wheel. Um, a lot of you guys, if you guys are, you know, watching this video, you guys most likely have a steering wheel installed already and you just want to know how to get the horn to work. Now, after you take off the steering wheel, you have access to these two screws right here. And then you also got to take off these bolts. Just take these two out. Damn it. See, that's why I said this video is better last time because the other time I had my little brother filming and it was so much easier to do everything. that up there and then after you get those two bolts out you just pop this out and then you sort of see the madness down here it's not really madness but all right take this top piece out and now that you have all that next is to take off the base Then you have access to this right here. All right, so this is what you're exposed to right here. So let's flip that over. Okay, so first thing is this hub right here, you will not be able to take this thing off. Like if you put this on correctly, you will not be able to take this thing off unless you have that tool where it just, you know, pulls it off. But I do not have that tool and I did not plan on leaving to go to Advance Auto to get it or anywhere. So I had to do this with the hub on. And my original plan, I know some of you guys might laugh, but my original plan was to get this metal ring right here uh, that you get with the hub. I think you get it with the hub or the quick release, I forgot which. But I mean, it's a full ring. I just cut mine in half. Uh, I'll explain to you guys why I did that also. But my first idea, my first plan was to glue this to the back of the hub because there's a gold ring on the back of the hub. You guys can't really see it, but you guys could probably I don't know if you guys can see it, but on the back of the hub where you see that white on there, there's a gold ring. And then you have to get power, I guess, going to that ring, touching that ring. And then that's what gets your horn to work. And my plan was to hook up a connector to this tab right here. See that? And then I was gonna glue this to the back of the hub and then wire it from the horn. And then that's what got the horn to work. And it did work, but the only issue is the glue that I use, it was not good enough. And because the wire that I used to hook up from the horn it was too short, it just yanked it off. So instead of trying to re-glue it and to make it you know, stronger, I just said F it and I did another way. 
So first things first, you gotta find your horn button. After you replace your steering wheel, you're gonna be left with these two plugs right here. The yellow plug is for your airbag, and then this black plug is like for everything else that has to do with your steering wheel. But on this plug right here, you're gonna cut the green wire. It's a green wire with a white stripe, and if you're holding the plug this way, it's the one that's all the way to the left. So this is your horn wire, and this is what you're gonna use to connect to the hub. Now, after you cut this wire, you have to get some wire of your own. It could be any kind of wire, really. I got this wire from work. Like, we have these, like, speaker wires that we just don't use, so I took some. It was, like, one of those wires that are, like, you know, two of them, and then I just cut, I would say, maybe six inches, probably, maybe less. I only planned on using one of the six-inch wires. Turns out that wasn't enough, so I used the other half also, so I guess in total, you could say this is a foot long of wire. Okay, so after you cut the green wire, you're gonna wanna leave this end and you're gonna wire the extra wire that you have to the other side of the green wire right here see that's green wire and i hooked it up to the extra wire that i cut from the speakers and i use shrink wrap uh, i used to use you know electrical tape but everybody's been telling me that i gotta stop using that and i gotta use the professional stuff so i went and i bought a box of shrink wrap like a couple months ago uh, and yeah, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like, what, $5 for all this? And this will last you a long time. Let me open it. Let me open it up to show you guys exactly. All this wrap, and they come in different sizes and everything. I think it's worth it, and I definitely think everybody should have these on deck. All right, so back to the wires. So you're gonna wire this side of the green wire to the extra wire that you have. And like I said, you wanna make sure you have like at least a foot long of wire because this is gonna be turning and that's where I messed up because I forgot that this is gonna be rotating when you turn the wheel also. So the wire that I had before was too short and that's what pulled the back of the piece off. So after you wire up the green wire, you're gonna come all the way up here. You're gonna feed the wire through this opening right here. There's that white ring where the gold piece is on and above it, there's an opening right there. You could even stick your finger through there a little bit. So you're gonna feed the wire through this opening right here and then you're gonna get it to come through this hole right there that's in the hub now this black wire right here is the positive cable that's connected to the ring right and what you got to do is you got to cut this wire then you're gonna wire this wire to the other end of the black wire that you just cut i hope you guys follow that it makes sense after that that's all there really is to it because you're getting the power from the green horn wire and then the hub is already grounded if you see this black wire right here that's screwed on to the hub that's the ground wire, so you don't have to worry about grounding anything. So you're just gonna feed the wire that comes from the horn through this hole and connect it to this yellow wire that's on the base of the quick release, if you have a quick release. If you don't have a quick release, then I guess you don't really have to worry about that. So if you do have one, you're gonna feed it right through here and right to the yellow wire. And then after you got that all wired up, when it comes to the horn button itself, here's that yellow wire again. And that yellow wire is coming from the top half of the quick release. You're gonna hook up this yellow wire to that connector right there, the one that's coming from the middle. And then you're gonna take the black wire and then hook it up to this tab right here. But this black wire right here, it didn't come with a connector like this. It actually came with this right here, which like doesn't make sense because I don't see how they wanted you to connect this with this like it's not gonna work so i don't see why they did it like that but that's why i also have these connectors and stuff on deck now nick made me buy all of these when i was doing my speaker wire and i sort of got mad because he made me buy all these for 14 dollars when i could have just bought like a small pack at advance auto for like five or six dollars but these actually really really come in handy because i use these a lot like for everything so um, I'm kind of happy that he did actually make me buy these. So then, yeah, you're going to have to cut this black wire to get rid of this stupid piece. And then you're going to replace it with one of these, which you could then connect to this. But I can't do it with one hand. And I cannot do it with one hand. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so you're going to have to connect it like that. Yeah, so then you just pop your horn back in. And then you got to put this back together. But let me just hook up the steering wheel right now so I can show you guys. All right, so I got these two pieces in. Now let's just put the steering wheel back. It's hard to do this when you're looking behind the camera screen. That. And then your horn should work. You know, this would be so funny if the horn didn't work. <laughs> there you go. You got a working horn on your quick release steering wheel. 
<laughs> yeah, it's actually that easy. You see, when I first got the steering wheel and then I was trying to figure out how to do this thing, uh, when I was looking on YouTube, it was only videos on Hondas. And then, I don't know about you guys, but when I was watching those Honda videos, I think those were way more complicated than these. I don't even gotta edit this yet because I know this is definitely gonna be one of my shortest videos, but I really hope that it was helpful to some of you guys out there with IS300s trying to figure out how to get this horn to work. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button so we can make it to 6K before the end of December. I want New Year's to be here and then I wanna be at 6,000 subscribers, all right? That's the goal. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you guys for the next one. I'm out. Coming slow, dreams they seem far. Here you won't make it from niggas who fell off. Goals they kept calling, so I had to pick up. If I wanna get paid, I gotta work hard, shine bright, day or night. HD vision right, homie. We ain't dropping no names, straight bombs plus flame. That's the HD experience, thinking that's a better vision. It's funny, Eddie Murphy delirious.